Hey everyone, I'm Exit Sign 250 and welcome to the Boards Episode 5, and this will be of Board 1, and it's also Simplex themed. Let's jump right into the MS9200 UDLS system. For the conventional pull station, I have my Simplex 2099-9795, and this station I actually got from my school. Of course, the same Firelight BG12LX addressable pull station, the panel, and the same monitor modules. For the notification appliance, I just have one today because I don't have anything else that's modern simplex. Well, I do, but I can't use it. But I have my simplex quick alert, not a true alert. These came before the true alerts. It's free run and it's in white. It's on code 3. And the strobe, I believe, is on 15 candela. It might be 30. And I did something with the panel, so when this system activates, the strobe will be going off for a second, then the horn goes off. So it kind of resembles a simplex panel. For the smoke detectors, I have my Simplex True Alarm smoke detector, and I also got this from my school, and then the same Firelight SD355 addressable photoelectric. To the MS5, we have the same enunciator, and the Simplex 4099 something something addressable T-bar, but I converted it. It's dual action, and I need to use a paint pen to kind of put the push lettering back because you can't really see it. Then my other Simplex 2099-9795, not coming from my school. This is one that I've had in my collection forever. The Simplex key switch, and actually underneath I have a new addition to the boards. There is a toggle switch under there, and what this allows, which I actually got the idea from a few fans, is when I flip it this way, both of these panels are linked together. So if one panel goes off, the other one go off. But if I flip it the opposite way, it disconnects them, so both of them are independent. I'll show that feature a little later. And like I said, there's the key switch. Notification appliances, we have my Simplex 4903 horn strobe, and then my 4904 remote strobe. Smoke detectors, we have my Edwards one, which kind of resembles a true alarm in a way. Not really. And then my System Sensor 2400, which just won't stop appearing in the board videos. And by the way, the horn is coded to March time. Let's go ahead and activate it, so currently both of these panels are independent from each other, and we'll activate this system with the true alert. So, let's do it. Here. We. Go. Yeah, you saw the little delay. Like I said earlier, that's kind of what some simplex panels do. And I was able to make this panel simulate it. We'll go ahead and activate this system. I'll pull the other T-bar. Silence and acknowledge from the enunciator. You can see it says right pull station was activated. And just for the fun of it, we'll activate the key switch. Which I don't really do a lot. Silence that. I'm going to go ahead and reset this pull station, and we'll reset this panel. There we go. There you go. Now this is reset. We'll reset this panel. Okay, well now I'm about to do something really stupid that you should never do. I've had these generic knockoff sparklers forever and they're more good at making smoke than actual sparks so we're gonna see if I can activate this true alarm with that and it may even activate this or even that but for that we'll go ahead and link both the panels together with that toggle switch so whenever this activates it'll activate that system unfortunately though because how this is wired 
Th when this activates, it'll trip this panel, and this panel will trip this, so it won't really, there won't be a delay with this, because uh, if this gets activated twice, or two different points activate, it'll kind of cancel that pre-signal thing with the strobe flashing. There's this sparkler, and you can see it's making a lot of smoke. So let's see if this goes off. There we go. And I actually forgot to mention that's on a delay, too. Let's see if we can activate anything else. Oh, that's active. And there, that's it. Wow, it smells terrible in here now. <laughs> we'll go ahead and re-alarm with the BG12LX. Silence that. Well, okay then. And we'll re-alarm this system with the dual action T-bar. Here we go. Push, pull down. Let's see if this pull station left, which is that. We'll reset this. There's the inside. Okay, hopefully everything's aired out. And actually, I'm going to disconnect the panels from each other so I can reset them independently at least and not have to worry about finding keys. Well, I guess I could have just done this. There we go. That's going to do it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed um, as much as I did, especially with the simplex themed and the generic sparkler that smoked up my whole room. I guess we didn't touch on these, but at least we got these to activate. So anyway, that's it, and I'll see you guys in another video.